Hey guys, it's John and welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. And welcome to my January wrap up. Can't believe it's already that time of the month. Can't believe the month is over. Can't believe we're going into the second month of the year. 2022 is already flying by, but it's also already super chaotic, super busy, super slow, but also fast. I don't know. Life is weird. Um, but... I'm very happy with my how my January turned out. Uh, it was my birthday. Um, I just came back to Bookstagram and Booktube. Full force. Really happy about it. My motivation is back. I'm just overall really happy with how things kind of turned out in January. And how the new year really just kind of said new year, new me. Um, still really busy though, you know, with work and school and life. But some days, you know, we're just able to knock out some books get away from reality, and just dive into a bunch of different worlds. So, here are the books that I read in, tw in February. In what? <laughs> so here are the books that I read in January. So the first book I read in January was The Mothers by Britt Bennett, which I don't have anymore because I was using my teacher's copy, um, like, sh you know, borrowing it. So I don't have it anymore with me, but that was a really good book. It took me a long time to finish and get through for, you know, because life, but it was really good, I'm really glad I read it, it was not as good as The Vanishing Half by Britt Bennett, but it was still really good, I loved the characters, I felt like the writing was a little messy, if that makes sense, like, I feel like everything was just all over the place, but it wasn't, maybe it was just me, but, anyway, I really liked it, so... I think I gave it like four stars on Goodreads, four and a half, and um, it was about this girl, she is in California, she, it's, I think historical fiction, so, um, but basically she's going, going through this grieving process because her mother passed away, and then is, you know, she's 17, so life is already crazy, and then something happens, they don't say it on the back, so I'm not going to say it, but something happens, and with her and her love interest, and just her, in her, within her life in general, and just things are kind of wild from there. And it's it's kind of like a coming of age, like, how will her life turn out kind of book. And, yeah, I really liked it. So, good start, good start. And then the next book I read was Instructions for Dancing by Nicola Yoon. I don't want to go into my thoughts too much on this book because I actually have a reading vlog for it. But overall, let me just say, I really liked it. Read it really fast. I love Nicola Yoon, so I'm really glad I was able to get this book. It's only her third book, I think, but I have officially now read all of her books. And I loved this one. It was just a fun break from all the literary books that I've been reading just fun and cute and a good time overall so I really liked it and then the next two books I read I read on Libby as ebooks I read Heartstopper volumes one and two in literally one sitting for both of them like just a straight one sitting I love them I know many people probably won't because it's very insta love like it's boom kind of thing. It's not like a slow insta. It's like a, in, it like it's instant. But it was really cute. I really liked the characters and I like that it's just a good book. Like it's just a happy, you know, book. It might not be realistic. It might not be, you know, it might not have as much problems in it as many people might want um, to give it more plot. But I think it's a cute little just, you know, a cute book so I really liked it would recommend if you haven't read them yet and now I have to wait for volumes 3 and 4 to be available on Libby who knows how long that's gonna take that's all I read in January I did start listening to Sadie by Courtney Summers on audio haven't finished it I kind of suck at reading listening to audiobooks that I don't actually even know what's going on in this book all I know is that this girl's sister died, and she's trying to figure stuff out about that. And I probably shouldn't even count it, 
um, as something I'm finishing. But I'm going to because I'm taking the time. I'm not, I might not be like completely focused in on it. I might be letting my mind wander, wander a little too much. However, I'm still pushing through it. So I kind of want to count it. Let me know what you think if that's cheating my reading goal. But I'm sorry, I just suck at audiobooks. Ah, okay. Uh, but I only DNF'd one book this month. Well, okay, I DNF'd two technically. One book I will get to. I just put it down. It's still on my shelf. This one is too, but I kind of majorly DNF'd it. Like, I don't think I'm going to come back to it. Where the Cardots Sing by Delia Owens. I know, this was on my TBR for January, and many people I know DNF'd it. Or, like, barely got through it. But also, I knew people that loved it. So, not sure, but I did not like this book. I got, like, 60... Oh, I got farther than I thought I did. Why are all these pages bent? Um, I got 87 pages through, and I was like, no, thank you. I never wanted to read it. I was barely getting through it. I didn't understand what was going on. It was boring. I'm sorry, but this is a DNF. Major DNF for me. So that is my January wrap-up. Summary. Conclusion. Four books. One DNF. I also started another book, which will be in my February TBR. So stay tuned for that in a couple days. So. Thanks for watching. Now catch me in this exact same spot in my next video. Because, let's be real. We don't need to make it all magic, YouTube, you know, fake. We'll be real. I'm going to be in the same exact outfit, same exact location for my next video. Peace.